Hello everyone. In this video, let us discuss the science behind the celebration of Mahashivratri. It is absolutely essential to understand the science behind the practices followed by ancestors who were scientists and siddhas. As a teacher, I believe that it is imperative that our learners um, attain wisdom. They have clarity of thought, confidence, so that they live a self-reliant, self-satisfactory, healthy and wealthy life. Without any further delay, let's get started. On the night of Mahashivratri, excess ether energy flows towards the earth. And it is not just on this day or not on this night, rather this ether energy flows every day and every night. But this excess ether energy, this ether energy is abundant on this particular night. And to receive that ether energy, your backbone should be erect. It should be upright. And that is why we stay awake. And this is all about the... Uh, say science behind the um, say celebration of Sivaratri and uh, to sum up we by receiving the excess ether energy by staying staying awake on this particular night we become more fitter we become more healthy and uh, let me move on to the moral that one can learn from Lord Shiva's son, that is Lord Muruha. So Lord Muruha, he had wisdom, he had bravery, and that had made him successful. You would have heard of these chantings, Vetrivel Muruha, Jnanavel Muruha, and Veeravel Muruha. So in order to be successful in any task, in any assignment, you need to be brave, that is courageous, and at the same time wise. And bravery, ladies and gentlemen, does not come in isolation. Bravery is always accompanied with love. When you have love for something or someone, automatically bravery creeps in. You become more brave. Take for instance, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. He had great love, tremendous love for the people of India. And that is why he was brave enough to fight the colossal force of the British. And ladies and gentlemen, to clear any competitive exam, to accomplish any task, we need to have such attitude that is love, bravery, and wisdom. And Lord Murha, remember, had the ability to gauge, to find out with his wisdom, the disguise of the demon. The demon was keep, uh, he was changing his face just to fool uh, the, the, the hero. But Lord Murha had wisdom to identify the conspiracy. So to, to be successful in life, you need to understand the conspiracy around you. And to understand that, you need wisdom. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sivaramakrishnan, Assistant Professor of English, Ranina College for Women.